theme for March 2021. I have with me the Radiant White deck along with the Levita Sibilas and we will be wrapping the reading up with an angel answer card. So let me turn the card, uh, the camera around because I've already done some shuffling and meditation on your sign, okay? And then we're just going to get right into the reading. I'm going to put one more shuffle and rifle on the deck. And I hope everyone is okay. This is just a strange time. I think last week just felt like it was going to, it took forever for it to, to go by. It was just the slowest week. All right. Here we are. Let's get the cards down. The chariot. Aha, the two of swords. Wow. The three of swords. I don't know if some of you are thinking of breaking up with someone, <clears throat> or maybe you think this movement of trying to decide I don't know what we'll see. Wow. The Ten of Swords. The Nine of Wands. The Knight of Wands. Wow. It's quite telling that the Knight has shown up in the future column. And he's facing this direction. The Knight of Swords. So two knights. Here is the Queen of Cups. Now, even though I know this is a Capricorn reading, this tells me that you are really in your emotions about this. And the Ace of Wands. This is quite the interesting reading. So I have three court cards here so definitely there's a third person this is a third person situation i also have these three swords and then i have these three figures here in the um chariot card so the justice card so i don't know if this is a legal issue for some of you because sometimes when the Ten of Swords shows up with the with the Justice card, it can speak to the idea of being in a legal battle, but that you will not be successful in the legal battle, okay? We see the card of fighting in the center, it's taking a break. Um, however, I do feel, this is like you beat a retreat back. Here, you were moving along, uh, you felt like you got stabbed in the back, and then you kind of beat a retreat, Okay. Um, two knights, uh, can sometimes speak to the idea of doubting the word or the sincerity of a male friend. <clears throat> um, but this two of swords, I find to be interesting because the twos always represent a choice, a crossroads, a decision needs to be made. But with the two of swords, it's the idea that, you, you know, someone feels as though they don't have enough information to make the decision. They're not sure. You're not sure if you're being tricked or not. Um, but also this idea that you don't see, perhaps you feel as though you don't or think that you don't, you haven't seen all of the pieces to the puzzle. Um, I get the sense that there's a lot of sharp words and and not necessarily angry things, um, angry feelings or emotions that, that partway could be true. But the nine, I mean, the wands card is just that fire, right? And it very well could be that there's a, there's a lot of anger uh, underneath all of this. Now, I have one major arcana card here, three um, court cards, one, two, three, four swords, and one, two, three wands with a cup. So this tells me that there's a lot of thoughts, feelings, emotions, uh, thoughts, feelings. Why is the city always pulling up to my house? I'll be right back. They can really go around to the backyard the other way. So one second, I'll be right back. 
Okay, my apologies. The city's actually replacing a sewer line. For some reason, they always come to my house. The, the manhole cover sits in my backyard. Not in my backyard, but right on the property line. My fence covers it, so it sits sort of like this. But the house behind me doesn't have a fence or a gate. But they always come to my house, and I have to go out and open my gates. And I'm like, y'all can just drive around to the house behind me, pull your truck up. It's going to be closer, and it's going to be easier because you don't have to open any gates. So anyway, um, I talked about the legal issue. I talked about the idea of feeling as though or thinking that you don't have enough information. And I was saying that there's a lot of sharp words and thoughts and things because it's real pokey. There's a lot of things sticking up, <laughs> you know, out of the re out of the cards. Everything's raised in the air. Okay. So there's a lot of pokiness going on in this particular reading. So let me uh, take a look. Past, present, future, past, present, future, interplay of the cards. This is an odd, like, and, and really what I'm getting is that it was going slowly because the chariot implies that there's a, a focus and a concentration um, of, of trying to get where you want to go. Then it speeds up. Then it really starts to haul butt. These always represent to me events. Okay. So I think it started slow. It sped up. And then it really shot up. Okay. So let me see <clears throat> what the cards have to say about all of these pokey things that are going on in this. There's not a single coin in this spread. Not one. So... We start with the Two of Swords. Let's see here. With Swords, the Two of Swords with Swords on all signs. Hmm. With the Two of Swords with Swords on all sides or around it. It's telling you to remain open and receptive to loved ones as they have the best intentions at heart and their advice is feasible, viable, and comes from a place of love. It is also telling you not to cut yourself off or avoid your loved ones. Do not reject their, their offers of help. It may be indicating that victory will be achieved despite hardbacks and setbacks through hard work and the cooperation of others. Well, I'm giving you that, but that's not how it reads. It feels, it doesn't feel that way. Okay, I just got to be honest with you. Three of Swords with other swords around is an indication of a close relationship coming to an end. I don't have any repeater numbers here. I have a seven, a two, a three, a ten, a nine, and an ace. Okay, so now let me look at the Ten of Swords here. Ten of Swords. Okay. Suggest that whatever the destructive situation you are involved in has reached a climax, and in the near future will you will be able to think more clearly. We see that here. This new rush of energy coming in. Um it may be an indication that plans have been unsuccessful and dreams shattered with the collapse of a project which is difficult to accept. It may be indicating that a le legal issue or situation may come to the fore to be dealt with. Make sure your case is a strong one and be prepared to have your facts straight. Sometimes this is about travel around water, by water, near water. But we see these two water cards here with the little thing here. Maybe you have to go somewhere to deal with this legal issue. It also says it may be telling of the conclusion of something that has caused a great deal of pain and anguish in the near past. Whether it be in a relationship or business situation, the Ten of Swords implies that the crisis point has been reached and things will now be resolved and will improve all around. It says that a legal issue looms large, and that's what this feels like. I don't know if this was a car accident, 
Um, not sure. Let's see. The Nine of Wands. If there's anything that the Nine of Wands can tell me. Nothing about the Nine of Wands. And then the only thing left is the Ace of Wands. Okay. That is the only thing that is left. And it tells me nothing. So I honestly feel as though this may be just that, a legal issue that is coming up. Now, I can say to you, I have seen the Knight of Wands um, speak to the idea of an old lover or someone from the past coming back. Um, maybe this is the idea that you're going to, you know, get a chance to um, put this situation to bed once and for all. It is this odd three and ten of swords with the ace. So whatever the sorrow, the heartache, the feeling betrayed or stabbed in the back, even the legal issue, this is a yes that this, there's definitely a legal issue here, but also that this is about to come to a conclusion. We see all of the energy rushing back. Now, maybe you don't see that right now. Maybe you're in a fight with this Queen of Cups about something. I, I don't know. Um, like I said, maybe this is a divorce issue because sometimes the Three of Swords will speak to that. A separation and or a divorce. Definitely a relationship coming to the end. But this could be any type of relationship, really. It could be a business relationship. Let's see. I really want to look at this um, Three of Swords here. Happiness of the heart. Well, that's been squelched. Concelente <laughs> sorpresa. Uh, the idea of something kind of falling into your lap um, unexpectedly. Not something of great gains or great worth, but it meant a little bit of something. And then the mercante, the business person. So I'm not exactly sure if this was, maybe you were waiting, because sometimes the, the three of swords can be about, uh, if you've been waiting on some kind of news to come in, it's on its way. I'm gonna say within a day or a week. Um, but the Allegretta al cuore speaks to happiness of the heart. So it does speak to success in business, happiness in marriage and relationships, um, however, okay, um, falling on this three of swords with the Concelante Sopresa, it speaks to, what, what's the, what, I can't even say what I'm trying to say. So perhaps maybe if I put some more cards down on this 10, this will help me. Because these two cards are, this is a positive card. This is a somewhat positive card. And he can be neutral, okay? As a situation, it would speak to, uh, it's like the three of wands, like business deals. Um, someone who's savvy and smart in business deals. Um, Allegrezza al cuore. Hmm. I'm sorry, the allegria. The stanza. Hmm. And the letterato. Now, this card is, speaks to, you know, getting together with friends and family and having a good time. So it speaks about social events. Uh, but this card can also speak to the idea of fair weather friends. Maybe someone that you met at a party or at a bar or at an event. But the stanza card comes to say that some type of, um, well, not really a meeting, but... This card represents, sometimes it could represent affairs. It represents the idea of two people who know secrets about each other, know each other very, very well. This could be within a romantic relationship or within the context of a friendship. Um, but yet, it's just a funny card that has come up here. So I think it's the ace. It is. It's the ace of coins. Get out. 
<laughs> Get out. I wasn't killing them, you guys. It just sounded like it. Okay, so here we are. The When the reading is about, this is a card of classified information and confessions of trusting someone with the secret of very sensitive information. Maybe that's this person, but this is telling me that that person stabbed you in the back. Um, in friendships, it, it describes two people who know each other very well and indicates a best friend or someone who knows a secret about the other. Now, the second meaning is intimacy and sex together. Um, right, it's, it's an alcove in this respect, a place where intimacy is, intimacy is shared in a physical way. But it describes a very important meeting of a sensitive nature. Any meeting where you will be emotionally invested, job interview, consultation. But it's also connected to your social life. Remember, I just said that. And oddly enough, the Ten of Swords can sometimes, hold on, represent the idea of a loss of social status. But I feel it is because, you know, I feel it is because someone has betrayed you. Someone has said something or done something and they have betrayed you. This letterato person. Um, actually, it almost speaks as though this is the person who's waiting on the meeting, right? Here. but there's some other people involved in this situation. Hence the three cards. Now, he is the king of coins. So this could be somebody that you are involved or associated with. It definitely speaks to me of a legal issue coming up. Someone telling something uh, about you or about the situation that throws everything in an upheaval, okay? So whatever this thing is, I want you to have your facts straight. Be prepared. You will receive the news very, very soon, within a day to a week, I do feel. Um, maybe this isn't the outcome of such a situation coming to bear, as though maybe you might be getting a ruling very soon. But if the answer is, did someone betray you and spill your secrets, the answer is yes, they did. Here is your angel answer card the card says to let go hmm. because I don't think there's anything that you can do about whatever has happened or was said or done now so the time has come to let go of this situation stop focusing on how or when it will be solved or even why it occurred Relationships that are unhealthy or unfulfilling should be released in order to allow something better to come along. Do not worry. Your angels have everything under control. A key aspect to manifesting your desires is to ask for what you want and then release it to the, to the universe. Having this card drawn means you may be holding on too tightly to the way your dreams will unfold. Make a wish and then leave the rest to your angels. All right, Capricorn, that's what I have for you for March 2021. I hope those messages helped. And until next time, namaste.